Okay, yeah, thank you very much for the question. First, maybe let me say I'm uh, from a UNEP Ozone Action Program, and we are not the first time here in Belgrade. I think we are coming here every year since 2011, so it makes, I think, 11 years. And we are always very pleased with the organization, uh, with the attendance. And we always have this booth uh, to share some recent publications related to the Montreal Protocol and to organize the forum on energy efficient, climate friendly and ozone friendly technologies. So we are starting actually in a 10 minutes. So um, we are very pleased with the organization and with the hospitality of the Serbian people. Yeah, the forum is really part of a cooperation between the Serbian Refrigeration Association, KGH, and the Ministry of Environment, and UNEP, Ozone Action, as an implementing agency under the Montreal Protocol. So we are trying to raise awareness on uh, new energy-efficient ozone-friendly technologies. Um, you, you might know, I mean, Serbia is a part of the Montreal Protocol, and especially also part of a recent amendment to the protocol, the Kigali Amendment. And that amendment wants to reduce the use of climate damaging uh, hydrofluorocarbons. So these are refrigerants which are used in uh, freezers, uh, uh, air conditioners, uh, refrigerators and many appliances. And of course this conference here is about uh, refrigeration and uh, we want to raise that awareness that the use of these substances will decline over the next decades. And alternatives have to be found, alternatives which are not only climate friendly and ozone friendly but also energy efficient and that is the topic of the forum which will start in a few minutes. Yeah, I think there's always scope for improvement and there's a lot of innovation going on, there's research going on but overall of course um, uh, Serbia already is in compliance with all its obligations but it's a big challenge also to change technologies in the future because also once you have a system installed it will run for 20-30 years and you have to gradually get rid of some of these systems, replace them, and especially new systems should use alternative and climate-friendly refrigerants. Yeah, I think it is an interesting uh, job to work in that area. Uh, you need to have a good um, education and to really understand also how to deal with the new refrigerants because uh, some of them are working with high pressures like uh, carbon dioxide some of them are, have toxic uh, properties like ammonia, but it's a very old refrigerant. And some of them are flammable, which is a bit a new issue, and you really have to be careful when you repair service equipment. But um, overall, the, the market and the need for technicians uh, is growing, and there's a lack of uh, experience and trained people. So it's a job of the future, and I think it's also a good opportunity to earn your living in a good way. Thank you very much, it's my pleasure.